Hi guys, welcome to Saturday. Actually, it's Messy Hair Saturday. I haven't flat ironed it yet. And if you didn't notice, I have this like little scab on my lip. And I used to get, um, what do you call them? Not a fever blister. I don't know, these little, I don't know. I used to get them all the time. And they'd come up as a bump, and then they'd pop, and then they'd get scabby. And I used to get them like, like every month. I haven't had one in years and last week I woke up and boom it was there so if you're wondering what that is that's what that is so I am working on a vintage travel journal and it smells like coffee in here it super smells like coffee in here because I coffee dyed on my base papers I coffee dyed on my insert papers I coffee dyed these potential might use papers <laughs> coffee dyed everything including my hands so it smells like coffee and I found out that Shiva likes coffee because she wanted to lick my hands and I said oh no the last thing you need is <laughs> to be stimulated by whatever's in coffee um, I don't drink coffee I love the smell of coffee a lot but I don't drink coffee. And I totally want to do a coffee bar when we get um, our building up and our display area. I definitely want us to alter a hutch and turn it into a coffee bar uh, display. So I had a lot of fun, and Honey had a lot of fun last weekend at the Vintage Market. It did stimulate us to want to really get going. And then, of course, Rizzo falling in the pool really made him feel like it's necessary to get that pool down ASAP. So, he scheduled for some days off. Oh, some of you had asked about how the interview went at the boat place, and he felt really good about it. But he has no boat experience. Um, I mean, a motor's a motor, whether it's in a boat or whether it's in a car. Um, but my my thing is, as I told him, I said, they must have had an applicant that was as experienced as you, but had boat experience. And, you know, you can understand why they would choose that person. So he's still um, in the market to find another job and uh, but right now he does have he just you know he hit his five years this year so he has three weeks vacation and he's thinking maybe I should just go ahead and utilize my vacation to get the things done we need to do to get this business rocking and rolling and then uh, possibly the first of the year really hit it hard because a lot of places, they do um, a lot of hiring at the beginning of the year. So anyway, that's what's going on with that because we did get a lot of people asking. And I am really um, going to go all out on this journal. It's not going to be like, oh, I got I to gotta knock this out real quick and... You know, because I'm running late. Because I'm not running late right now on my design team projects. I actually have some projects done that I have not videoed yet. Because once I get back into the swing of things, you know, when I'm gone on a little trip or a long trip, it's hard for me to get back into the swing of things. But I am now. And even though the boys will be here... Friday. Today's Saturday, so they'll be here in less than a week. Um, they often just do their own thing, and, you know, I can still be in here and do stuff while they're here. This is my second giant mug of tea. Um, I will probably have one more this morning. But, anyway... So, the rest of the story about Shiva. 
you know, the reason why I didn't finish the rest of that story or come back and do a video and put it on there was because I thought to myself, you know, I've had a lot of people unhappy about the ear cropping situation. And I said to, I said to myself, I said, Rena, do you really want that can of worms? Because I'm not a confrontational or argumentative type of person. But if, and I'll be honest with you, like a million percent honest with you right now. I had no idea, none whatsoever, that there would be any controversy at all about that. So I was, I was shocked at some of the outrage. And possibly there was more, and some of you just were like, well, I like Rena, so I'm just going to leave this one alone. Um, and I appreciate that, if that's what you did. Um, and I don't mind people voicing their opinion at all. I just would really, really like for it to just be respectful. But anyway, that's why I thought, well, maybe I just shouldn't tell that story. But then a lot of you have asked, hey what's the rest of the story so I'm going to tell the story and if I get a lot of flack I'm not going to tell any more stories like this um, so when I went to pick her up from the ear crop because she had to stay overnight This just is not coming out right. I'm not folding it right because I'm busy talking. Okay, let's see if that's better. Um, so, when I went to pick her up, you know, they, they talked to me about, you know, how things went, how things are going to go from this point forward, what I need to do, what I need to be aware of, what I need to pay attention to, when I need to bring her back, all those things. And it was a lot of stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, got it, cool. We'll see you guys next Monday. And uh, the, the lady helped me out because I had my hands full of a bunch of stuff and she helped me out and we talked about why we named her Shiva and she was like, oh, I love The Walking Dead. And she was like, I should have figured that one out. And anyway, it was kind of fun. But anyway, I got home and Shiva did not make a peep all the way home. And that's unusual. She does not really like being in a kennel. So I got home and I had, I had been to the dollar store and, um, I don't know, somewhere else I had stopped. So I had some bags of stuff I needed to get out of the car. So I put her out in the backyard with Rizzo and Angel. And off she went. Seemed happy, happy, happy to be home. So um, I went, got the stuff in from the car. I was... I did that for maybe between five to ten minutes. And then I went, I opened the back door, and I didn't see any dogs. So our yard is L-shaped. So I was like, oh, they're on this side of the yard doing their thing. So I closed the door, and I started to walk down the steps and walk across the patio. And the little dogs must have heard me, so they came running. And no Doberman. So I kept walking and I started calling her. No Doberman. So I get close to the edge of the house and I can see her legs. And she is lying. I'm going to draw a picture. Because you have to understand how this went. I'm going to draw a picture. Ooh. All right. You 
this is not a very good picture. Just okay. Now, when you see this picture, you have to look at it and know that she was lying flat. This dog looks like it's running, but it's not. It's like lying flat. I'm going to put some grass so you can get a better idea that she's lying in the grass. So she's lying flat like this, okay, in the grass. My heart skips a beat. I run to her. As I'm running to her, I twist my ankle. Not super bad, but it hurt. The bad one. So I get over to her. I kind of fall down in the grass and, and put my hands on her thinking I'm going to have to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. And she jumps up and she starts barking at me and running away oh my gosh so I get her you know just takes a second for her to go oh 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 it's my mom and she comes down and we go in the house and I immediately call the vet and I'm like um this just happened is that normal I said it was like she passed out like in the middle of the yard I could see her like on the couch passing out but not just the middle of the yards. So I called the vet and they were like, well, when you picked her up, do you remember we told you that she was really loud? And I was like, yeah. She goes, well, um, how did she say it? She goes, yeah, I don't think she slept. <laughs> so in other words, she was exhausted. And so I was like, okay, as long as you think that's fine. And she's like, I really think it's fine. Um, I think she's just exhausted and, you know, call us tomorrow or we'll check in with you tomorrow. So I sat in the recliner and I put her up in my lap and I just let her lay there. And I just stroked her and pet her um, until Honey got home. And then he took over for a couple of hours and he just held her and she just slept and slept and slept. So anyway, the moral of the story is the first day I thought Shiva was dead. And the second day I thought Rizzo was drowning so, Shiva is absolutely fine. She's outside right now. And because she had her medication, ate her breakfast, and now it's time to go poop. So, she's outside. Um, but she's happy as a clam. And I'm not going to do any videos of her with her ears, you know, taped and her cone of shame on. Um, but... I'll tell you, the dog is getting tons and tons and tons of love. And, um, you know, when it's all over, she's going to look beautiful and she's not going to remember any of it. So, I'm super sorry if you're offended by it, but I'm not super sorry that we got her ears cropped. I am super sorry, though, that my hair looks like this and I'm on video. But what the heck. All right. So this is how much I've got. And I'm thinking, I don't know. I've watched a lot of videos on travel journals and there's not a lot of laces and trims in them. And um, I do have wood embellishments I intend to use. So, maybe I won't use any laces and trims. We'll see. But so far, this is three signatures. I may need to separate this out and turn this. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, 
there is a a kitty cat. I don't know if you can see her, but um, oh, somebody somebody said Rizzo was really gonna miss me, and I'm gonna read exactly what they said. You guys aren't commenting much. Okay, Sherry Walters. Wow, really loving the dollar store flowers and all of your fall decorations. I cannot believe that fall is right around the corner. What happened to summer? I know. I know that on one of your vlogs, you had said we should think of some questions to ask you and hubby. I think that you should do an evening live show. I think that would be awesome. Have a great evening. Bye for now. Um... Yeah, but the times that we've tried to do live shows, nobody shows up. And I don't know how to preset it, like with a reminder and all that. I don't know how to do that, so I don't know. Sandra Sundell, she's the one who said, she said, Rizzo would miss you terribly. Would she be happy in an apartment? <laughs> yeah. Rizzo is not the kind of dog that gives two hoots about anything but laying around <laughs> typical cocker spaniel so an apartment would be fine and alone all day she's she is alone all day um i mean all while i'm gone to work and i do own a grooming salon with doggy daycare so if she went went to live with savannah she would come a lot for doggy daycare um I would also see her when she came to get groomed. I would see her when Savannah came over to hang out. I would see her all the time. So I think it would be fine. Um, also anxious to hear the rest of your story about Sheba. Okay, well, you did. Um, I had the shot in my left thumb about 11 years ago. Won't lie, it stung like heck, but did work. Just recently, it has started hurting again. We'll get another shot soon. Well, I'm really sounds weird but I'm really looking forward to it because it is hurting so bad I mean really really hurting um, today it started hurting here and they did tell me I had some carpal tunnel issues as well which doesn't surprise me since I've used my hands all my life um, so really hoping things work out with Savannah and she uh, opts to you know that that works out <laughs> oh let me show you something else I'm going to be working on this this is cardboard that came with my uh, Tim Holtz stamp pad and this is some Stamparia paper and I am super stoked to do a layout on this so that's coming up all right now I'm really gonna be quiet I'll talk to you guys later bye I had to come back for just a minute because every once in a while one of these pops up on the sidebar of my YouTube and, you know, the, the little videos that come up that say you should watch this video. And it cracks me up. I mean, super cracks me up to listen to these people. So, I thought I would play a little bit of it and we could enjoy it together. You don't need to see it. You can hear it. All right? You ready? Conservative values and do what Mondale did in '84. Okay. Oh, this is. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States! Exclamation point. At real Donald Trump. At real Donald Trump. At least I will go down as a president. Our new NBC News survey monkey poll is out today. It puts Hillary Clinton up by 10 points. 
over Donald Trump, and this is not the first poll since the conventions to give Clinton a double-digit lead. This is actually the fourth. Four polls that have Clinton up by more than 10 points, or at least 10 points, gain the kind of lead she has leaked out into, into this. We are back with David Mufuki, Love, and it says... Some of these videos are not. Mind or brain oh, oh, here we go. This country, which does not want you to be friends. 2016. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. So when you stand and deliver that State of the Union address, in no part of your mind or brain can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. I continue to believe Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. He will never be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leaving the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. I'm sorry. I just had to share. Come on. Come on. Hi guys, it's Sunday. I have been busy as a bee. I started working on this. Yeah, this. And I took Shiva for a walk early this morning. I had my tea, I had my breakfast. Honey and I started, by the way, today is his birthday. And last night he told me that Shiva is the best birthday present he's ever gotten. He said the best gift that anyone's ever given him. And we're talking about gifts that are bought, not like a gift of a child. Okay. So anyway, oh my God, you guys are seeing, seeing that. And I haven't even done a video on that. Anyway, so it's his birthday. We cleaned out the storage room because he needed to, the swamp cooler was making squeaky sounds, so he knew he was going to need to put a new belt in it. We're celebrating his birthday next Sunday when the boys are here. So today's officially his birthday, but we're celebrating next Sunday. So anyway, I just sold my shabby Christmas garland. I'm so happy I'm happy that it's gonna go somewhere where somebody will enjoy it and love it and I'm gonna miss it because it took a long time to do it but it was in the storage uh, swamp cooler room and you know I I just saw it there and I was like you know what somebody can enjoy this so I sold it Thank you. <laughs> I love it when I can have crafty funds coming in so I can buy more crafty goodness. 
And somebody asked if I was going to stop crafting when we start the furniture uh, business. And I'm like, no, 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 no. They're going to kind of go like this. Good Lord, Willie. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. So I'm still looking around. There might be some more de-stashing to come. But guess what happens tonight? Tonight? Yep. Fear the Walking Dead comes back on. And then, let's see how many weeks. One, two. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks. Why was I thinking it was only going to be three? In eight weeks, Walking Dead comes back on. Oh, well. I guess the more time I have before Rick dies, the better. So, anyway, I better get back to this. Then I do, I will show you a video. I have to make a haul to Goodwill to drop off. And I have a bunch of stuff I need to drop off at our storage for the business. Because I can't stop junking. It's just not possible. So much so that people even give me stuff they think I would buy at the Goodwill for junkin'. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow is out of this world busy for me. There will be very minimal crafting, maybe two hours, if I get up early. So, let me show you the sleepy dog. We got her ears done. Um, she's just acting like a normal dog. So, tomorrow, she's got to go get um, re-wrapped. But we took the cone off because she was being good as gold. I mean, every once in a while, she'll... But really not a big deal. I've been talking to the breeder... I think I have actually become friends with the breeder. We've talked on the phone probably like five or six times since we got her. And um, for like 30 minutes every time. And she is a conservative Christian Trump supporter. <laughs> and she teaches women to protect themselves and how to shoot. She's like, Raina, you need to learn how to shoot. I was like, eh, I don't know. Anyway, all right. So that's that's it for right now. But I will show you a vlog of what's going on. And I got to do the birthday boy. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Let's go see the birthday boy. Anyway, I had to show them the birthday boy. I told him it's your birthday. It's just a day. And I also told him that we're celebrating it next weekend. So yeah. it's it's okay that you're doing work. <laughs> I tried to tell him next Sunday he's not allowed to do work. He laughed at me and said it's in his DNA. And he probably will work anyway. So. It's not my genetic makeup. Yeah, that, that's what he said. All right, guys. <sighs> Here's my load of stuff going to Goodwill. And there's the desk. It's still sitting there. And who knows? I'll finish it sometime or another. <laughs>